Hey guys, welcome back to Convolution. My name's Khan, and tonight I'm actually gonna be checking out some of your guys' recommendations for supplemental material to the Wheel of Time series on Amazon Prime. If you guys haven't checked out any of my reactions to the Wheel of Time series, season one, episodes one through seven, links down in the description below, as well as a so you guys can go and check those out before joining back with me. Uh, I'm on the verge of watching the season finale of season one, which I believe is going to wrap up the story arc of the first book, which uh, for your information, if you're new to the channel, I have not read any of the Wheel of Time books, but I plan on jumping into them because the series is pretty cool in my opinion. And from what you guys are saying that the books are like a billion times better, which is, you know, generally the case. So, and I love fantasy novels. So, and it's kind of remarkable that I haven't started Wheel of Time yet. So I, I'm definitely gonna jump into it. But many of you guys recommended for me to check out the, uh, what do you call the lore videos? Cause I freaking love lore, bro. Um, the first two videos, which are, well, the first one is titled, I believe, The Breaking of the World, and the next one is from episode two song, which is The Fall of Manetherin. Each one follows um, the specific episodes that, um, like, on a weekly basis, I suppose that they release along with their behind the scenes featurettes. So, I might not check out those featurettes, but I'm definitely gonna be checking out these lore videos. Bro, lore! Let me give me more of this shit, dude. Um, yeah, and, and there's a couple of other videos, a random, like, fan made Wheel of Time videos on YouTube, I'm assuming. Like, one of you guys sent me a link to it. I haven't played it, but I, I, I'm, if you guys want me to check those out, I'll, I'm happy to check those out as well, you know? But I'll probably, like, you know, start the books first and share my thoughts with you on those before jumping into anything else but um yeah let's go ahead and dive into the first one which is the wheel of time breaking of the world bruh breaking of the world here we go and the shadow fell upon the land and the world was riven from stone to stone the oceans flood the mountains were swallowed up and the nations were scattered to the eight corners of the world. All was shattered, all but memory lost, and one memory above all others of him who brought the shadow and the breaking of the world, and him they named the dragon, bruh! Author unknown, the fourth age, bruh! Who? Oh shit! Oh shit! They're showing it to us? He murdered his beloved wife. He slew his children, she bore him. Whoa! His friends, his court, everyone. Oh shit! We get to see what he looks like. Right, the male Basically, like an apocalyptic event. The breaking lasts for over a hundred years and ends only when the last male channel alive is gentled. Wow. By then, entire civilizations had disappeared. Centuries of progress and knowledge gone. Damn. The very lives we live today are shaped by this immeasurable loss. Ooh, look at that library. This is 
good. Ooh, damn. I like this. Holy shit. Lore, bro. More lore, bro. Damn. I can't believe we actually got like the a look at. I'm assuming that was Luz there and Telamon, the the uh, the dragon. So damn, he murdered his uh, whole family. Damn, dude, that's freaking nuts. The madness, dude. Holy shit. You know how cool it would be if he saw that shit in live action. It's like all their all the male channel's power like completely okay. Let's watch the fall of Manetra and then I'll share my thoughts on both of these. I love the animation by the way. Damn, look at this animation. Holy shit. King Aemon. Battling through unrelenting days and nights, they held their city against Trollocs, dark friends, and dreadlords until they could no longer hold the river from crossing. Dude, they spent money on this shit. Holy crap. Red Eagle Banner. Ooh. The old, um, Eyeless. Damn. It's like, this is like the way the White Walker showed up. Shit. What a great way to sh just tell story, man. Oh. And the sword that could not be broken was shattered. Damn. And then she went berserk, right? With the one power? Must have been hella powerful even if she Wow. And then it became the land of the two rivers, right? Oh shit, is that you, Randall Thor? Is that Randall Thor? I don't know, man. I see a little bit of a red hair glow on the back of that kid's head, and I'm immediately thinking, Randall Thor, bruh, Randall Thor. <laughs> Some lore about Randall Thor, bruh. Okay, wow. That was freaking incredible. There's like four more. Okay, I'll save those for other videos. I gotta see if I can uh, uh, upload this this reaction properly. You know, hopefully no copyright issues. So I, if you, I pull it like, you know, if you guys see the video as like sort of like adjusted or like, you know, cut up, it's because of copyright issues. You can't re-upload this stuff like, you know, with exact 100% imagery onto YouTube. Yeah, but damn, man. Uh, these were both awesome. Dude, the animation game on this shit is like on another level. They spent a shit ton of money on these lore videos. God damn, dude. Dude, I would love to just see the, the, the series in this animated form. My god. You know how badass that would be? Oh, dude. Okay, so the... Okay, so Luz Theron Telamon. What a name. Luz Theron Telamon, the dragon. Rand's, uh, Rand's predecessor uh, in another lifetime, in another age. Basically, what do you call it? Tom Marilyn described it is that when uh, Luce Theron, the dragon, and the male channelers went to stop the Dark One, the Dark One was sort of sealed or caged, but 
he was able to taint the male half, Saidar, no, 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 Saidin. Yeah, Saidin, the male half of the one power, and so it pretty much led to all of their madness. But the thing is, you know, madness affects the different males in different ways, but ultimately the, the main outcome is total destruction. You have all the male channelers. Like, dude, how many male channelers were there? I mean, uh, like, they all unleashed their power and wreaked havoc across the world. And it's crazy, because, like, they, the way they described it here is, like, a good like almost 99% of the human population pretty much went down that's what it looked like and the, the remainder remaining 1% of the, the, the population left on the earth had to like sort of repopulate it and put the pieces of the world back together so wow wow dude what what a way to start off a story man that's that's pretty damn awesome really cool really really cool lore and i like the way that the story is actually being told to um what do you call uh, uh apprentices of uh the Aes Sedai who are new initiates they're learning it learning the history learning the you know what I suppose not to do in, in the future to not repeat history's mistakes but you know the wheel of time is a cyclical right so aren't you isn't everything gonna continue to happen the same way to a certain extent with very little deviations within the pattern I don't know oh and by the way the fall of Manethrin was badass dude it's just like the way Moraine uh described it in uh her story and um like the, the just the, the graphic design of like the the warfare the pastels you know the moving pastel images like moving against one another the sword that couldn't be broken finally shattered dude and the queen the, the queen just unleashing all her power the way that maureen discovered it is she pretty much tore the land asunder with her crazy um power like just releasing everything all at once and that's pretty much i think what happened in the breaking of the world as well like uh um all the male channels sort of released the, all their power through their madness and you know very little of the world was left anyways that's all i gotta say I'm, I'm very much uh, interested in the in the sort of concept and mythos behind the wheel itself. You guys recommended me some other uh, Wheel of Time lore and like explanation videos. And I don't know if I really want to delve into those just yet or do I really want to figure it out myself while going through the books. I know there's a lot of books. I know there's a lot of books. It'll take me some time. So I'll probably have to dive in. I'll probably have to do a search about like, you know, um, spoiler free lore videos if that's even available you know so um and then uh share my thoughts with you guys based on not just the remainder of the lore videos but at the same time you know what i'm thinking of uh, the book and i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to listen to the audiobook and then also uh go back and read the um, the graphic novel because i think the audio i think there's a graphic novel for uh the eye of the world and i think the prequel book which is called new spring yes so, so much Wheel of Time stuff to look forward to, and I'll definitely share more of my thoughts uh, going forward. So stick around. My uh, season one uh, finale uh, reaction will come out soon, and I will see you guys then. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day or a wonderful night, wherever you guys are. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe, hit that like button, and feel free to share the video. And I'll see you guys next time.